Hey guys, so I'm here today to do a flip through of this journal that I created using uh, G, G's um, kit for um, butterfly, blue butterfly collection. That's the name of it. And I'll provide the link down below if you want to go snag that off her Etsy shop. Um, so I made this for my mom and this is a five envelope journal and um, I don't generally do a bunch of journals with color so this was kind of fun to you know be able to work with something in the blue color range um, kind of a blue purple and um, it was a lot of fun so um, somebody was specifically asking me about this particular rose and honestly I don't recall where I got it I think that I got it from Walmart. Um, they have a bin that they sell product for a couple bucks and it came with like two different um, rosettes. This was the smaller of the two. Um, I did find this, which obviously is much flatter when you look at it in comparison. Now this I picked up for a half price. So instead of $6, $6, it was $3 for this roll of rosettes um, at um, Hobby Lobby. So I only buy when they do the 50% off. It is a little bit more flat versus dimensional, which actually is probably a good thing. Um, and in all reality, I probably should have used <laughs> this flatter one so that it's not puffing up so much, but it is what it is. Um, I did use the papers on the cover for both the front and and the back because I messed up, honestly. I accidentally put this upside down on here and realized it and had to pull it off and it left a bunch of sticky. So then I went ahead and covered the back. I traditionally don't cover the back um, with stuff. Um, and I also, this is vellum. So I also printed on vellum and then mounted it on white so that the colors would pop through. And um, I think that turned out really well. And I just, I love the feel of, feel of the vellum. It feels really great. Um, looking at it from the side, this is why I like the five envelope journal. Not only is it easy because it provides structure, especially for beginners, um, but I just love the little bows coming out on the side. I think it's super cute. Um, this cover is not necessary for a five envelope journal, but I like it because it provides a little bit um, more extra um, protection for the insides because these are envelopes and cards and they are a little bit floppy. So this is a recycled um, file folder that I covered with um, uh, cardstock. Um, and I may go ahead and put a pocket here as well. And I just put a little bit of material here just for that extra um, stability um, with the spine of the outside cover. And then for the inside, um, I did, um, there is a little bit of protection here as well. There is um, some micropore, white micropore tape, and then I covered that with the lace to kind of keep that um, from peeking through. And um, there's an inside pocket here with a journaling card from the kit. And then it's a little booklet in case my mom wants to, you know, throw this in her purse or have a little bit of extra list space or writing space. There are two sheets of paper per each section and I did uh, corner punch them, just give them a little bit of extra decoration because the decorating on here is super simple, um, not overly done up um, as I think this will be more of a practical journal for her versus um, something she'll just put on the shelf. Um, I did create this envelope out of a tracing paper material. It was actually the material that's in between um, acetate that I have and just custom dyed it to match the colors in the kit. Um, did a little gessoing and then put on a few um, stickers that I had, some vellum stickers, and in between this belly band here. I'm actually going to just leave that out. For now just so i can flip through this a little quicker um i created this um, pen holder 
I use these for all my um, planning purposes, but it's always nice to have a pen with your journal, especially if you're gonna be writing lists or anything else, just to have it handy. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how to make these um, pen holders, uh, leave me a little note on the um, YouTube video. I'm happy to um, do a follow-up on creating these um, pen holders. But each of these um, sections is the five envelopes, okay? And then inside, at the edge of the inside three envelopes is cut. And then inside that is the inserts of the cards. So the cards are also using the kit and they are um, held together just with seam binding here. And the seam binding, hopefully you can get a good view of this one. It's all custom colored and I love to use multiple colors to give the seam binding just a more natural look versus a solid color. So these colors I used here were um, faded jeans and something lilac. Oh my gosh, I've just forgotten the name. Um, I'll put the names down in the description if you're interested in seeing them. Um, so you can see like the lilac in here um, and then the faded jeans. And um, I always spritz with water just to kind of keep it from being too overly dark. Um, but there's three sets of those in here as well. And then there's some decoration. There's not a ton. As you can see, it's a little, it's a little thick anyway. Um, and honestly, I don't think my mom would know really what to do with these. She's um, not really seen um, too many of my journals. So I want it to be functional for her, but I did um, have a few tags in here. So this one here is just a very simple tag um, with some stamping on manila cardstock, or excuse me, manila file folder and backed with um, recycled um, paper out of um, packaging that I had. And then this is actually tissue paper, not uh, a napkin. And this is file folder as well. And then on this one here, um, again, file folder using uh, kit paper, just a little bit of lace, again, recycled there then here just wanted a little extra pop of color um, so I created this out of file folder and just some a paper collection I've probably had for 20 years leftover paper collection here a little um, collaging and um, images from the kit backing the same this is just a journaling card from the kit and then this tag here is again just a little pop of color to go in here especially when I'm using just recycled book paper it's like a little extra something on that so that I don't have to worry about you know decorating this all up because these will cover most of that up um, but this is just again um, cardstock with a little bit of the kit um, a little bit of paper and lace and image from the kit and this is just uh, basically two sheets of book page um, that's been folded to make four pockets and a little bit of decoration, a little bit of buttons here to kind of match with the colors of the kit. And this is just leftover um, of that material I used to create the envelope. And then on the back here is just another pocket. I love these big pockets because um, I tend to, when I work with my journals, I tend to um, keep a lot of things that don't really fit on the page. I'll just fold them up and store them in pockets. Things like um, um, concert uh, programs for my kids' school and things like that. I just might want to keep as memory. So I tend to make a lot of pockets that I can just tuck those types of things into. And again, um, vellum backed um, onto white cardstock to make the colors pop on the back. Thanks, guys. Bye.